This is my little Clark CMD10 mini mill. It's much the same as the Sieg X1. There's a couple of little things I've done on it that might be of interest to people. The obvious one is I've converted it to belt drive. This was some sort of random speed controller that was originally mounted on the side. So I bought this second hand and it was in a pretty sorry state. A couple of nice things. You can lock the travel using this thumb screw. Now on the original you've just got an Allen key going in there. Uh, this is much easier and you can just nip it up by hand and it will it'll lock the X travel. Similarly on that side you can you can lock the Y travel. Now something you need to be careful of though is you need to run, it's an M4 thread, you need to clean out the hole with an M4 tap because it was never cleanly tapped in the first place and the allen key was always tight and scruffy. I've shortened these knobs to give me a bit more room around the bench when I'm working in the vice. They're stupidly big for the size of the machine normally. I think I took about half an inch off them. Uh, I'll strip down the cover off it so you can see the belt drive. There's loads of um, videos on the internet and most people reckon converting to belt drive is the most sort of cost effective mod you can do. And searching around I, I found a really nice article by some chap. I can't remember who it was. I might reference it in the description under the video because he basically said which belt to use. And once you've sorted out the belt, then everything else is um, pretty self-evident from there. I use slightly wider gear ratios than, than he did. So the slow speed is, let's think about this. On the original, I think it's 2 to 1 and 4 to 1. So the difference in the high and the low speeds is, is 2 effectively. Uh, I've made the high speed just a whisker higher and the low speed not so low but it's a quite a nice speed now and to change speed I just slacken off this screw here this allen screw and pivot the motor slide the motor back you can see the curved slot there that it slides on I have to disengage the belt flick it up onto the top belt but that runs really sweet and gives me a much nicer much nicer speed control so there's the slow this is yeah this is slow mode I find that cutting with a 10 millimeter end mill I can go quite deep into mild steel I can sort of 20 30 thou at a time uh, no problem it's also very nice for power tapping you know if you use it in drill press mode just press gently on that feeder a tapered tap into your hole, turn the power on very slowly and it will tap in nicely. The only problem is you've got to turn it backwards to get the tap back out unless you put a reversing switch on which is just pretty standard wiring no problem at all. So the output instead of going to the motor it goes to the center to have a pair of changeover contacts and this is forward off reverse so if I run it now, I don't know if you can actually see all the video will be strobing. That's a running in reverse, that's off, that's a running forward. So that's it really. Uh, yeah, this is all bolted onto a big plate of alley that I had lying around. Little blocks of wood just glued on to allow me to screw the safety cover. Uh, and it does make a big difference, the quality of the cuts. Um, with the belt drive is far superior. The other thing I did is make a nice little jig for sharpening the end mills because they do blunt in pretty quickly. Anyhow, hope that's of some use to someone.